We give you a lot of access. I just want to make sure that you're actually sober and taking this seriously. Good Lord in heaven. Talking like Ned Flanders, then is Republican Missouri Senator Josh Hawley. I'm happy to do a blood alcohol test. I have had no alcohol this morning. And that was <laughs> Moments before a television news interview, as the Riverfront Times reports, leaked footage captures Josh Hawley acting like a smug hole. You don't do opinion journalism, do you? I mean, I don't know. You, well, I don't, you say I, what I, you I, want. I, would, I wouldn't call the tweet an act of journalism. It was a oh, tweet. but you're a journalist on a public forum. This is a free, I mean, this is a pl public platform. I thought you're tw you've got a picture of yourself at work on your Twitter profile, right? Isn't that you at KSTK? It is me, yeah. And it, it says Mark right Maxwell TV is your, is your handle. That sounds like, you, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, me. that's you as I'm a journalist, right? Twitter the reporter's sin... He had tweeted critically of Elon Musk and then joked about whether he was sober when tweeting. For that, Holly dressed him down with a smug grin on his face for nearly three minutes. What's this part about uh, not interrupting a worshiper during their daily prayers to Lord Elon? You, you posted that too. That's yeah. something. It's quite a rant. It's quite a little rant. As the Riverfront Times writes, in this footage, it's Holly who looks like a stupid son of a bitch. A pedantic school mom who lectures people and threatens their access while feigning concern about their Twitter manners. And never mind that someone in Holly's team apparently prepped him by digging through his interlocutor's tweets as if a senator and his staff shouldn't have better things to do. No, the inquisition in leaked footage was apparently payback after KSDK interviewed a professor saying Holly was delusional for his comments on the demise of Silicon Valley Bank. Amidst Holly's criticism over the Elon Musk tweets... Seems kind of... Yeah, I... I was vitriolic the, my, the ksdk yeah. political yeah. editor stayed calm all right log off twitter yeah maybe a good idea some good advice there sometimes can we start the interview yeah absolutely great i can't wait uh i can't wait what a jerk and this is just the latest incident establishing that Senator Josh Hawley is one of the most repugnant lawmakers you will ever find. Remember the January 6th insurrection? There was Senator Hawley giving a fist salute to MAGA rioters heading towards the Capitol. Of course, once the crowd got violent, security cameras captured Senator Hawley fleeing from the mob he created. And the internet had a field day as running Josh Hawley became a meme for the ages. How Josh Hawley fled the Capitol on January 6th, 13 million views. This is your reminder that Josh Hawley is a delicate flower who raced away from his dictator curious cosplay moment and fled like a scalded dog when the dirty little people he whipped up into an orgasmic froth of revanchist violence got too near his delicately moisturized hide. And a delicate hide appropriately describes any senator who would battle with a reporter over that reporter's tweets. If Senator Hawley was really manly, he would just decline to do the interview with the St. Louis television station. Tell the station, I don't like your political coverage, so I'm not talking to you. But to try and have it both ways, by using the platform to reach Missouri voters, while simultaneously trying to demean a reporter in the pre-interview chit-chat, that is ridiculous. And it shows that Senator Hawley is even more thin-skinned and pathetic than he knows. Missouri voters, though, seem to know. According to one of the most recent polls, 58% of all Missouri voters describe Holly as unlikable. Only 42% like him. And Missouri is a Republican state that went strongly for President Trump. Holly is up for re-election in 2024. Fingers crossed he continues to be his authentic self, and Missouri voters continue to see him for who he is. A despicable and smug conservative bag. By the way, one of Holly's fellow conservatives in Congress, Marjorie Taylor Greene, is in some trouble for publicizing border security information the government wanted to keep confidential. I understand Chief Ortiz, but I'm not going to be confidential because I think people deserve to know. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.